Hey, welcome to the show. This week on the show, we're going to cover our off-season event we just hosted and talk to some FTC kids about how their season's gone so far. It feels weird to do this again. Why? Uh, what? I don't want to do that again. What? You have enough footage of me doing it. So I noticed you're an MC for this event. Care to break down exactly what that is? Shouting really loud into a microphone for many people. Yeah, how Very exactly exciting. do you do that? Or do you just wing it? I just wing it every time and wave a lot of flags. And try to collect them and are not your, drop them all. Are your arms getting tired yet? Or? Nope, my voice is. Yeah? That's, that's what I got Mountain Dew for. Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. That's We're on number one so far, but I'm sure we'll be many more after this. Well, that would be great. The news today, we got a spicy <laughs> interview. Uh, we have an FTC kid here who's part of the VAR Robotics Team 9536 Slobber Bots. They are a part of the Vermilion League here in Minnesota, and here he is. Hi, I'm Noah Nielsen. I'm on Team 9536 Slobber Bots, and I'm very excited to be here. <laughs> what were your initial impressions of the game? Um, I was kind of shocked at first when I saw the paper airplanes. Uh, partly because I suck at making paper airplanes. Uh, and then I was actually pretty excited when I saw the hanging on there because <laughs> uh, because uh, I saw the FRC's uh, game last time and it was really cool when they were doing the jungle gym bars. Jungle gym bars. Mm -hmm. That was pretty neat. I thought the game was pretty neat. It's got some interesting things this year. What are your plans? What is what were your initial goals and like requirements you wanted your robot to meet at the start of the season? Uh, well, our team decided that we were going to be under 14 inches so we don't have to... Why is that? Uh, so, we can get under, <laughs> so we can get under that bar uh, without having to lift it up or go around it. And well, that with uh, increased maneuverability uh, to maneuver our way throughout the field. Hmm. So, what have you gotten done in these first weeks here? Tell me some projects you've been working on. Uh, well, we uh, have gotten a two-stage Viper slide, um, as well as we are using the Mechanum wheels. Uh, and then we have also built our frame, and we also got the new drive hubs, which we are pretty excited about. What are the drive hubs you got? Uh, they're like mini iPads. Oh, and I don't yeah, use yeah. them. You got an upgrade from the phones this year, I see. Mm -hmm. What are your plans for your robots? so far like how is your robot gonna work what well, uh, you do from intake to scoring we're not quite sure on the manipulator right now uh several people on my team are designing that um but uh we're using this two-stage viper slide as i said and then we're also gonna have it tilt a little bit uh to account for the um uh tilt on the uh, scoring slide is it gonna be a powered tilt or is it gonna be just a passive 30 degree tilt uh, we're gonna use servos, I think, for that. Hmm. That'll be interesting. What do you got for placing? Are you gonna have like a handoff kind of thing? Um, we're not quite sure on that right now. So. Well, thank you for coming in today. Uh, my name's Jane Carlson. Uh, my team is one five one eight three. Um, we did pretty good today for the amount of technical difficulties we had. We got up and everything. Since you, and a lot to fix, but I think I think we'll make it. Through.